Hey everyone, welcome back to another Trader Line 2 Minute Tuesday tutorial where it's basically a race against the clock for me to explain a key investing or trading concept or indicator. Uh, last week we had the first ever uh, video in the series about the TL Enhanced Volume Indicator which is shown down here in Trading View. If you haven't watched that just yet, go ahead and hit the link down below in the description or it should be popping up right now. But uh, first of all, thanks so much for an excellent reception to the series. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this, so uh, go ahead and drop in the comments any other indicators or concepts that you would like me to cover in a future Two Minute Tuesday tutorial. And getting into today's video, we'll be covering the relative strength line, the RS line, which we have in TradingView, Thinkorswim, as well as TC2000. And very quickly, before we get into the tutorial, to go ahead and access these scripts and these indicators, go over to traderline.com, which will be linked down below in the description, and go over to tools. This is available for everybody, even if you're not a subscriber to TraderLine. And uh, you can also just go to TraderLine slash TL dash scripts, um, and then scroll down to choose your platform and go ahead and click whichever one you use. And then you can see all the different indicators that we have available for that particular platform. So a lot of great resources here. Go ahead and check it out. And if you click the relative strength line, you can see an explanation of all the different indicators and how to implement it and use it. And with that said, let's get into the tutorial and start that clock right now. All right, so the relative strength line is an extremely important and useful indicator, and potentially it's the only uh, basically leading indicator that we use at TraderLine. And what it is is basically a ratio between the stock's price and the price of the SPX S&P 500. Uh, so this value on the right-hand side, um, because it is a ratio, is meaningless but the trend of the relative strength line is extremely important. So uh, when a stock is increasing over a certain period, it's basically in a relative strength phase and it's outperforming the market during that period. And likewise, when the relative strength line is decreasing, that means that the stock during this period is underperforming the S&P 500 and the rest of the market. Uh, so what we wanna do is within bases, as the stock is moving up the right-hand side, we always wanna see an increasing relative strength line. Um, all right, so let's get into the actual green and pink dots and how to use them. So um, we've got BNTX here up on the screen. It's been doing quite well. Uh, recently, the relative strength line is increasing and you can see a green dot appearing on the current trading day. Uh, so what this signifies is basically uh, today, it is making a relative strength new high. So it's making a new high with this line and outperforming the market once again. So uh, this is extremely important to see, especially on a breakout. You at least wanna see the relative strength line following price. And as we'll get into in just a second with the pink dot, if the relative strength line is leading the price, basically it's making a new high before the price is breaking out of a base, that is extremely important and something you definitely want to pay attention to. So to dive deeper in that concept, let's bring up DocuSign during the March 2020 correction. Here you see the SPX, this gray line here, um, falling pretty hard. And DocuSign as well decreased, but is trying to fight during this downtrend because it's being accumulated and supported by institutions. And this is really clear, and this really shows the power of the relative strength line and the simplicity as well. Uh, during this period, even though the price of the stock is decreasing, the relative strength line is increasing and making new three month RS highs, as you can see by this pink dot, this one, and all of these as well. So during this base, it is outperforming and making relative strength new highs before price, and that's what pops up the pink dots here. So uh, because of this, um, it was on a lot of people's radar because it was a potential leader. And sure enough, when the overall market turned around and made a bottom, it formed a nice cup and handle and broke out and advanced 100% in a little under four months. So uh, this type of action here where the relative strength is making new highs, when a stock is still in an early stage base, you wanna pay special attention to that. So that pretty much covers the relative strength line and how to use both the green and pink dot indicators. Um, once again, the trend is really what matters, not this value right here. And you at least wanna see the relative strength following through with price at a breakout. Uh, so with that said, thanks so much for watching. Remember to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the Trailline channel. And let me know one indicator you'd like me to cover in a future Two Minute Tuesday. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.